According to information shared with Today on One by Nampol Major General Joseph Shikongo, the evictees overstayed their welcome and were notified to leave on countless occasions, but they refused. This, according to Shikongo, led to them getting evicted. I'm aware because both parties approached me. Yeah. That is the owner of, um, uh, that is the Mr. Ioan Kutse from Marula, from the farm uh, between them. Um, because there were a lot of cases, eh? Yeah. Of trespasses that were opened. And then that follow up with the a meeting that, of course, I was invited by the command international authority. Mm-hmm. And then we attended that meeting in Kroto. Yeah. And that was our first engagement. And then we discussed on quite a number of issues, uh, including the seeing how the how, how the how the farm owner uh, can perhaps look the possibility of um, of allowing the Trajan Authority time to look for for a place yeah. where, where to put these people. Because what happened during the meeting, the Trajan Authority command Trajan Authority indicated that obviously they not follow all the procedures when they put people there. Yeah. Uh, because the owner, the owner of the farm was not really conducted, and um, and then we the follow up meeting was held at the Doldabes. The Doldabes meeting was again just to look to um, to what the progress that we, to what the progress was made uh, between the two parties. That is between Mr. Taiwan and the 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 common Trajan authority. Yes. Because the the, the Mr. Johanna had the problem in communicating with these people. Every time when he goes to them, uh, they were always referring him to the Traji authority. Yeah. Because they, they said they are the people who put them there. Mm-hmm. And then the meeting we had in Doldabes, uh, there was uh, the two sides agreed that, you know, uh, people should be given a little bit of time yeah. until the, the end of uh, March this year. And that, I think, that, that that thing happened after these people were staying in a farmer for for more than a year. Mm-hmm. And uh, they, they, I remember the meeting at the Hurot also requested the Dutch Authority to provide how many vehicles, how many cat, cows, and how many goats, how many donkeys, mm-hmm. and how many people that were there. Mm-hmm. And then the meeting in Hroto, in, in, in Doldabes, was now just a follow-up meeting. But then the meeting at the Hroto, actually, I spoke to the owner. I said, okay, please, why can't you just give people sometimes, maybe while the tragedy authority is looking for a permanent solution. Mm-hmm. So Mr. Kotze then, then agreed to... To, to keep people for a while, mm. that was now until the end of um, the end of um, of March this year. Walter Haseb, special advisor to the Common in Queen, says he understands the basis on which the family is being evicted and suggests that the landlord give the family more time. He says factors such as the coronavirus pandemic, as well as the country's financial state, could be contributing to the government's delay in assisting the family. Right now, our people do not have anywhere to go. And as a traditional authority, we do not have a place where we can say they must be allocated and where they must be placed. As you can see, we have an issue with uh, COVID and uh, our people do not have water, as we are speaking right now. They do not have water. We have small children that are here and uh, we are putting up the place and we will still continue consultations with the government so that we can find a permanent solution for our people. The Komanin Traditional Authority says all they need is more time to find a place for this family of 30 and their livestock.